here we go. Okay, when do I set the hook? It's a big, huge bait. Hooked up. Good fish, I think. Yeah. We got some walking to do. Oh. Yesterday I caught a really big grass carp. Um, it's a shame I didn't have my GoPros. I was going for a quick bait run, man. But he's big. Here's a picture of him. Anyways. We got a lot of cut bait off of him, so I'm gonna use some pretty big baits today because we got plenty of bait. That's a pretty long, thick strip of grass carp going out left. Okay, y'all, here's our big bait. That's a really, really big piece of grass carp. Uh, it's heavy. I mean, it, that probably weighs at least a pound right there. So, home run bait of the day because why not? Oh, wow guys, I already got my second bait out. And we're hooked up. Doesn't feel real big, but that's bit that was maybe a minute and a half. Wow. That gives me some hope. Awesome. What do we got? Not too big. Not too small though. Gonna be a blue cat. Boy, he's running. What do we got there? Oh, that's a pretty small blue cat. Smaller than I thought. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, y'all, I literally spent four hours at the lake earlier, and I was like, yeah, it just wasn't happening. But here we are, a minute and a half in, not even had a chance to get a second bait in the water. Blue cat, I'll take any action right now here in the dead of winter. Nice fish. We'll let him go. See you, fella. Really, really big home run bait right there. There we go. Now I may be deceived, but this might be a little bit better of a fish. I don't know. Or maybe not. I may just come off. Yeah, I'm getting bit on my far rod. It's not my middle rod with the home run bait, but the other two baits. Have, you know, we've been here eight minutes and gotten tons of bites. So. All right, another small blue, but the action I'll take, absolutely. All right, second blue of the day, right on. We've been here, I don't know, baits in the water, 15 minutes. And that one over there keeps getting bit. It's unbelievable. It drops off in here where we have all this big roundabout. The river gets wide. And it's like 18 feet deep out here at its deepest. So that's pretty deep. And then it gets gradually gets shallower towards the back end. But yeah, we've got constant bites, man. Just watch this. Just constant. But that's why it's good to have a tough bait. If this fish is not big enough to take out the clicker very well, like on a sustained run, I don't really want them. Getting a 
a lot more violent here, guys. Yeah, we got more power with this here. Yeah. Let it run with it. That was a much more powerful set of runs. Similar pattern, but a lot more powerful. It's probably a small fish, but we'll see. I feel like got a bite way over here on the long rod now. Oh, we're hooked up on that big bait. I, th I think. What is it? Got a bite on our other rod now. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. But 12 foot rod's not my thing, so I don't know what we're dealing with here. It may be a gar. Huh? It's a catfish. A mean one, going for that big bait. Of course, that's a bigger one. It's a step up. All right, y'all. That's a good fish. That's a step up from earlier. He's not, he's not big or anything, but he is bigger, so that's encouraging. And what else is encouraging is these hit fish are hitting any bait that comes at them. So uh, they seem to be aggressive in feeding. So hopefully it keeps up and hopefully a big one rolls through. Last spot of the day. It's the deepest hole in the river. First bait, really big piece of grass carp. Okay, nice chunk of buffalo. A smaller piece of grass carp. This fourth bait going out, just a longer strip of grass carp again. Really, really big piece of grass carp. This may be like the other spot where we get a lot of dink taps and just have to, yeah, push on. Fish number four. They're having to move around a lot. We're hooked up. Oh. I'm sorry y'all, this fish is too tuned up. So he's really dirty. This is actually my second channel cat I've ever caught from this river. I'm gonna let him go. Still though. Had, had... Yep, gotta go, we got bite. Getting bites all over the place. It wants to take it. This one again too. And I just have one on here, so. It may be like the other um, spot guys where it's just constant bites. Um, but it's almost dark, so. At some point, you know, when the fish are biting this good, I know there's big fish here, so maybe they'll be out tonight since everybody else is. It's like it's been swam with, but less. It's been hit, but we'll see. Okay, I believe that's a channel cat. Also looking at the downward mouth. Yeah, that's a channel cat. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I say any action is good action, especially this time of year. 
here we go. There we go. Fish. No. Oh, it came off. No. I think these poles on the left are small, but I've been getting a few bites off the point. Much slower takedown. Seems like the bigger fish uh, coming from the deeper water. Here we go. Okay, when do I set the hook? It's a big, huge bait. Hooked up. Good fish, I think. Yeah, that's, there we go, that's what we want. Ooh, I don't know how big, but it's giving me some shakes out there. Hopefully it stays hooked up with that big bait, man. Yeah, that's what we wanted. A lot of bites today, but this will certainly be the biggest, I think. I mean, he's not crazy, I don't think, but uh, golly, it feels pretty heavy though. But 12 foot rods too are deceiving. But yeah, I'm glad to be hooked up after dark. That's awesome. Oh, it was wrapped up, so it may be small. No, it ain't too small. No. Uh oh. No, oh, it's gonna be a good one. Boy, that fish is fighting me. Nope, that's a good one, y'all. That's a good one right there. Yeah, okay. I need my net pretty bad. Pass it around here. Okay. Yeah. Nice fish. All right. That's pretty good fish right there. Much better than what we've been catching. Um, we want bigger, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, I knew he wasn't a dink. He got the clicker and kept running. And that's what we're looking for, guys. Aggressive feeding blue cats. But uh, anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Fish is gone. Okay, here we go, slow run. I dropped it. Unless it came out this way. Oh yeah. Good fish by the feel of it. I thought I'd lost some. Also my 12 footer here swam in. This might be a really good fish. I don't know. Alright, I got these lines hung. Yeah. Let's have three lines hung here. Oh well. It may come off. No, it came off. 
No. This is a mess, a tangled mess. So I'm gonna have to cut. And it really, really sucks that I missed that fish, guys, but they're really liking that spot out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a 12 volt hook. I'm using a small hook, trying to be low profile, but I missed that fish because my hook was too small. That was a good one too. Oh, there's a fish on there. Look at that. Wow. I just hand lined another channel. I swear that's the craziest thing. I've never caught a channel. One channel here before. Okay. Let's let him go. See ya, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I got my three rods untangled so and re-tied. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on another fresh bait. This one's a big bloody fillet of buffalo. It'll be, I think it'll serve us well. Big one, big one. Hooked up, that's a big bait. That's a big bait. Yeah, that doubled it over and kept it over. Yeah, he's uh, got another blue cat tangling me up. It's going to be a decent one. I don't know how big, but he ate a big bait. Man. He's fighting me now. Yeah, he's fighting me. Oh, hey now. Oh, he's wrapped up. He's about to do some stuff to me. Yeah, it's a good fish, I think. I think he was wrapped up. Yeah, another pretty good one. Ate a big bait. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one right there. Oh. Mean blue cat. Yeah, guys. There's a nice fish. It's turning into a pretty good night. That's awesome. Oh yeah, fish is ready to go. Okay. Slow like a big fish. Okay, y'all, so, oh, that's terrible. I've been getting my bites on this inside eddy on big baits. That's where I've been getting the majority of these bites. I got my big one earlier, or the biggest one so far on a big bait. And that run that y'all saw right there, what happened was it was peeling the clicker, but the stick that I have that rod leaning on, it got kind of caught in the guide, and I couldn't, Whenever I lifted the rod off, it kind of popped off the stick and uh, the fish dropped it immediately. So now I know next time, let them run with for a while, but maybe set the hook while it's down. Because that slow run like that, especially on a big bait like that, that's a big fish. Big fish are, I don't know, they're fast, but they like to be fat and slow. So anyways, that's what happened there. Um, I put that bait right back out, same area where I've been getting 
the good bites on the big baits. So, yeah, it's the middle of January, almost the end of January, actually. Super cold. I mean, this is dead, dead of winter. Um, I got skunked last week for the first time in a, a long time. And uh, I'm just really encouraged to have the fish biting today. So, still looking for a big girl. Oh, wow. Pulled this rod over. It might be swimming towards me. Oh, I hooked up. Wow, I can't believe I actually hooked up. Another pretty good fish, I think. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I missed the clicker, but uh, in fact, I was falling asleep. And my toes feel like they're, someone's hitting them with a hammer. They really hurt, it's cold. About to go up to my truck after this fish and start to get ready to go. It's gonna be a decent one for sure. Right on. Right on. Pretty nice fish right there. Let him go. Okay, y'all, thanks for watching this episode of Chase Moby Dick. Please hit the subscribe button. That really, really helps support the channel. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a great day.